good afternoon to you uh, wherever you are at the moment. Today, I want to address a very salient topic that I've been asked several times to address. Um, often at times, you see me come on the screen and I just bring up my tenant and I start working on it. And some persons have reached out to me requesting that they need to also know how to create their own trial accounts, uh, Microsoft tenants. So today we are going to be doing that uh, just for you to have uh, your own account to carry out the demos that have been putting forth uh, so far. Okay, so I just want to open a new browser that I can put in this URL that I'm going to add on the description of this um, video. So if you open the URL signup.microsoft.com, get started and all of this, you are going to find out that you have option to enter your email. So I'm, I want to enter one of my email. Um, okay. That's the email I want to use. I'll do next. Then it will require me um <clears throat> look like you need to create a new account let's get started continue as this i will see set up my accounts and i to ask me my first name i want to use um joseph that's my first name and then my middle name uh, is not compulsory uh this one is afeso like this and then my business uh, phone number um, can be okay mind you this number has to be 10 okay so for those of us who want to add our other numbers if you put your zero here it's going to bounce it so if you put your country code too it's going to bounce it so i'll advise you just remove the first zero and then put the other numbers just as it is and it's going to accept it because if you add any other thing to read zero at this point you see that it will say that the number must be 10 digits okay so i will remove this zero so company name let me just put um, joseph trainer okay of course my company is still a small one for now it's just employee of 10 to 24. all right so uh the location is very important this determines where your data is going to be saved i just want to put um because of the other features i want to use on this thing and later i may need to uh maybe take where 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 as my location should i use nigeria but because of phone system that I'll be needing later, right, I may need to maybe put United States for now. And then I check this box. I do next. Okay. I need to tell me to input. It is this time I now need to change my number to Nigeria number so that I will get a code. 234 is my country code. 234 here. So it's going to send a verification code to my phone number as a text. So I am waiting for that text message to come in. I hope it comes very soon. Here we go. It's here already. So let me quickly have that entered. And it is um, this seven nine one eight seven seven yes so i will verify and then it will ask me to input my password that i want to use i will use this password it will ask me to verify it Okay, so it will ask me, look at down below here. All right, uh, next. And then that uh, is going to take some time to load. It's creating an account. Please do not refresh this page. So it's creating my tenant for me. All right. So when this is ready, I will now have option to get 
the license that I would want to use. I can now create users. I can now administer, you know, those users. So uh, let's just hold on for this to load up. So usually this will take some time. Yes, so I'm all good. So it will ask me to add payment method. Uh, I know a lot of us will not want to add this because of course you are afraid, right? Uh, the Microsoft is going to charge you. Microsoft will not charge you. All right. So uh, it's just for trial for one month. You can either decide to upgrade before they can charge you. Of course, it's $38 per user per month. But I want to just add, I will now go to um, office dot com and then it's going to pick that because already the tenant is now created and then if i do sign in um, <clears throat> i'm expecting it to launch me in with that account into office.com environment here we go because i am the one who created this account from scratch I automatically become the global admin Okay, so let me just do this ceremony and then go off and then I click on admin center. So it's going to launch me now straight into my admin center. All right, so now I am signed in here. I have the privilege to create users and all of those, but something is missing, right? I don't have license already because I, you know, just go to purchase services and then you know i want to do e5 trial but something is actually a prerequisite that um you may need to do right let me now do uh i want to do microsoft 365 um pop, 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 um, yep let me see um let me do e5 e5 i just want to do the trial right okay now let me scroll down and see Microsoft 365 E5. If I click on details here, let me see if I'm going to have free here. So yeah, start free trial. I'll start free trial. And then it will ask me to input my phone number. Uh, my country code is plus 234. 234. 23. Two, three, four. Let's take our time to look for it. Um, and I think it's arranged alphabetically. Yes. So I'll scroll down to N I because I'm in Nigeria here. Okay. So now I put the other one seven three five zero six zero one two. I do text me. Okay, so a verification code is going to be sent to me also. And I'm expecting that to come in a jiffy. And here we go. 322 322 So, and I hit this. Okay. So let's just wait. Try now. Continue. We are checking to make sure we offer you microsoft product and services to start a new trial you must provide a valid solid address or registration number of your billing account continue so what i need to do in that case is to go to my organization profile to impute that address right so if i do that i'll come to my product and i will have the license available let's see so i don't have any license now because i have not imputed my address to be able to get license but let me just show you how you could do that so you go to show all and then you go to setting you go to um you go to org settings all right so we should go to org settings um scroll down to where you have